Hello trader it's semi trader here I'm going to be recording a number of live trades that I'll be taking with members of the day traders fast track program this evening as I run a training session so we'll have various trades will uh, be recorded now I do need to just put the risk disclaimer up here that there is a risk in trading of course if you haven't read this risk disclaimer please pause the video and ensure that you read the disclaimer so I'll record as I have trades set up and they'll all be coded so my our members will know exactly what type of trades they were but I'll give you a rundown as I record them as well so let's go directly to the charts so we're looking at here the CL the uh, black gold 233 tick so we're going to be looking at gold trades at the uh, GC and also the black gold oil which is CL 233 tick so on the uh, gold by the way I'm trading a 144 tick so as I have setups uh, available I'll record them okay so I've got a double top here let me just see if I can get filled so I have a double top I have a limit order in here might just drag down one tick order filled so I am filled my target here is five ticks on the first and eight ticks on the second so we'll see how we go with this this is also a 2d okay so I'm short two contracts here and first target here is for 50 five ticks on CL and eight ticks on the second contract now because it is a counter trend trade if I see it bounce and start to turn I will exit or pull my second contract out early we'll see how we go I'm actually going to bring because of the level of support we may have here I'm going to bring my second contract up to just six ticks just because here we are uh, below some major support here or there is some major support so uh, I'll just bring that up this is very much a textbook type trade So this uh, short trade I've taken has bounced we've got a turn into a 34b I've got a seven tick stop so we're still well and truly above the little high here if I get another t1 plot I will short another contract so I have shorted a another two contracts here based upon this uh, t7 sorry about the noise in the background okay so the big thing is when you've got conservative money management rules you can always uh, make sure you've got some uh, dollars left up your sleeve uh, for to add to your position just want to quickly uh, mention uh, money management here as you know I always promote that you never ever risk any more than two percent in a trade and I trade at a four at a 0.5 percent risk now by trading at 0.5 it allows me to add up to a position up to four times that is I might get a pullback or a tracement on a position and I will add to that position a number of times but very important I still even if I've added four times I never exceed the two percent rule so just be very very aware of that so we can see I had a retracement on this one it turned around and to me it actually strengthened the trade that I was in so I added another two uh, contracts now because this is a counter trend trade once it hits my initial target I will go to break even on the second lot of contracts we can see here we're slowly grinding down there is one time when I will exit a trade early that is uh, before I hit my target that is based on time if I feel that the market that is the trades taken too long and this has really been stretched out but it's a quiet time it's only uh, what is it here about 706 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so the markets very slow but if I'm say trading during the day during the New York session and it slows down like this I'll 
exited a small profit small loss just get out because something may have changed so we're a couple of ticks away from uh, hitting our initial target once we hit the initial target here uh, I will go to break even slowly grinding down Just bouncing around here we've ticked down four ticks so we're getting close so we've now been filled on the first contract so I'm now going down to break even for the second two contracts so we want the market to come down another two ticks to fill us on those so this was a, uh, a T7 2D it then formed into a triple top across here and um, it took its time in coming down so it come down bounced I had a seven tick stop which is well above here plenty of room and what I'm going to do I'm going to actually go up to one more tick just so we can uh, because I'm got to launch the room in a moment let other members in so uh, I'm sort of running short of time in running order fill there we are so we're filled on that so um, so we're up 661 with the other trades we've taken so far today we short it here on a nice t3 let me just try to um, get this up here now it's not plotting but there's my entry there was our exits and we're also trading gold okay so um, we're seven minutes into this <laughs> only on a couple of trades here but they were good trades so short as a 34b here still early after uh, the pit open but I have got a uh, fanning of the EMAs just looking at taking out this little low here be good to take that out so you can see here over on the anchor chart we've got the um, this little low here this little bottom so we want to get past there so we're down just got to get, get order filled so I've been filled on the first contract I'm going to go to break even now remember there's always a risk when you go to break even on your second too early Come on there, get down there another three ticks and we'll pick up then eight ticks on this second. Now my rules are once I tick down plus seven, I go to break even plus one. And bringing your stop in too early can be can can be harmful. Now what a lot of traders will do is rather than bring their stop right down by picking up five ticks on the first trade on their first contract it lowers their risk on this second so we can see here we're sort of hovering we need to drop down another three ticks come on get down there that's coming up so we maybe end up uh, break even on the second contract I was almost Order going filled. to so I'm out break even I'm always going to go up and just take five on this one just because we're sort of breaking this previous low but 
some cash in a bank is better than a poke in the eye with with a blunt stick as we say down under so I click twice on the entry so I'm short four contracts here now I've brought them up to just five ticks and I'm probably just going to um, scalp four ticks out of this I'd be quite happy to get four ticks out of this I'm going for a bounce on the 34 order filled All right so I was filled so I was filled four ticks as a t3 so this is a high risk trade so I have shorted this as a double top all right now I've got to remember we could get a bounce around at the uh, 34 so I'm going to be ready to pull my stop down pretty quick smart go down my stop is um, well up I'm going to leave it still at seven ticks so it's up at 4417 come on get down there so I'm going to bring my other target up so I'm going to take them both out at five ticks so we'll take them both out at five ticks just below the 34 there that's of course if we keep coming down okay so that seven tick stop has kept me in the trade come on one more tick order fill. order right, fill so now I've been filled on that trade so the seven ticks kept me in okay so I took that off being a double top a t7 so as you can see there um, keeping that wide stop so my stop was uh, I think it was three ticks or four ticks above the high so as usual we punch through a couple of ticks well it was within one tick of being stopped so very close traders very close so I'm short off this double top I got a tick did I get a tick yeah I got one tick slippage I am going to uh, bring my second contract back up to six ticks my first contract uh, I'm gunning for five now this is a high risk trade but it is still a nice double top so we'll just see how we go here now once again we could bounce on the pivot once I hit plus five I'll go to break even I'm only after plus six on the second Come on, couple more ticks. Okay, a couple more ticks. Come on, get down there. Order, order, fill. Okay, so I'm filled on that trade. So that was plus five on the first, and plus six on the second and it bounced on the pivot there now we may get some follow through now look at that uh, beautiful double top you had there on your anchor chart with great divergence so traders this is the end of this recording so we're sort of 14 minutes in I, I'm not sure how many winning trades I had in the row there I think it was uh, four or might have been five winning trades so we had a good day so this is a straight recording from a training session uh, over a four-hour period with our members for a lot of other uh, trades we didn't take because we were just discussing those but what I want to do is just give you an idea of the type of trading that we do now if they were mainly scalps now every one of those trades I took were was uh, rules based according to 
the trade setups that I teach you in the day trading day traders fast track program I'm a little weary now it's nearly it's 1 20 1 40 a.m. my time just wrapped up the session which we started at 9 30 p.m. my time so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do uh, for $197 traders you receive all of my setups over 100 hours of recordings my manuals my handouts there's now 300 videos in my training uh, program you don't have to watch them all by the way some are uh, Q&A sessions uh, but there's extensive powerpoints and on some of my emails you'll be able to see exactly what's in the day traders fast track program it is the most extensive day and swing traders program that I know of globally I don't know anything like my program and all for $197 with no upsell so uh, you can drop me an email if you've got any questions or uh, please visit my website subscribe to my channel better still become a member thank you traders I'll see you on the next video